name is Claire. I'm the founder of Student RDH and Smarter DA. Today we're going to look at this topic of antibiotic prophylaxis, especially for the joint replacements. There are a lot of questions out there regarding the new guidelines. The previous guidelines said two years or for life. Well, this is not the case anymore, and I will show you where you can find the information to back up your argument about there is no need for antibiotic prophylaxis unless the patient has a serious condition and the orthopedic surgeon said so. You can see this Dentistry IQ slash RDH magazine uh, article that I wrote recently. We are now June 2017 and this is the article, one of the top article right now in the magazine. But here in this video, I'm also going to explain to you why and where you're going to find the information. This is an important topic because there's over a million people per year getting joint replacements. That looks like the first resource, which is the American Dental Association. This is called the Chairside Guidelines. Here you can see that it says antibiotic prophylaxis are not recommended. Okay, but you have to consult with the orthopedic surgeon and the patient as well. Now, this is already the first step to tell your patient, your coworkers, or your dentist, you know, saying, um, are you sure you want to prescribe this? Are you sure you want to do this? This is not two years or for life anymore. Let's look at the next reference. This is the American Dental Association. And if I go over here, I'm actually just going to click it right now. And you are going to see that this is within the website, within profile, um, prosthetic joint infections, I want you to pay attention to this part. Dental procedures that include gingival manipulation, mucosal incision, antibody prophylaxis should be considered only after consultation with the surgeon. What's important here is that not all dental procedures need to even consider antibiotics. If you're doing fluoride, if you're doing simple fillings, you're not even touching the soft tissues, that's not even a question. So you don't have to have a headache over that, first of all. And you can go to the website right now and find this. Now look, let's look at this. JADA is the journal of uh, the American Dental Association. They went through the systematic review. What is a systematic review? Well, you take, for example, 50, 100 research done on the same topic, you gather them together and you come up with a new conclusion that is a systematic review in brief. And that's what they did. They had a panel in 2014, they did, and they came up with this conclusion. Again, antibiotics not recommended prior to dental procedures for to prevent prosthetic joint infection. Now, the reason if you keep reading is because, first of all, there is resistance that can build, which is not good for the patient, and also they haven't really find a connection between the bacteria in the mouth and those, those bacteria traveling to those joints and causing an infection. The last piece of resource I wanted to share with you is from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Now, if you go to this guideline, which came directly from their website, you can see the recommendations here. It says practitioner might consider discontinuing the practice of routinely prescribing prophylactic antibiotics. I think I said it 500 times already in this video, but this is to show you that the research says again, again, and again that premedication may not be needed. If you have a coworker a faculty or dentist or patient who is challenging you, give them this information. This is um, a very long, probably about 150 page research guideline, but if you go to page 75, you have recommendation number one. If you go to page 100, you have number two, and go to page 110, you have recommendation number three. So you can have the patient or your dentist or even the orthopedic surgeon read it and get convinced that you are saying the right information. I hope this all makes sense. You can find this article at Dentistry IQ and RDH Magazine. Um, it is the newest article about antibiotic prophylaxis. I am actually not trying to explain the science behind it and why, but I'm just giving you the resources with the links that you can click on directly to find this information.
And you can also go to studentrdh.com and find this area that is called free. And if you put your email over here, you will get the printable PDF version so you can print it for your office, for your school clinic, or just for yourself so you can keep uh, infor informing your patients and your coworkers about the newest guideline. My name is Claire. If you have any questions, Claire J at studentrda.com or Claire J at smarterda.com. Thank you. Get up!